But first, best record in the American League right now, the Tampa Bay Rays. And it brings us to the essential baseball question. How do you win? We've gotten used to the Rays, but it's a baseball miracle happening right in front of us. Let's start with a little digging in. They are the defending league champions on pace for a 108 win season last year and boasting 96 and 90 win seasons the previous two years. So the Tampa Bay Rays are a legitimate powerhouse. So it bears repeating. They do not spend enough money to be doing this. Here's where the Rays stand in payroll. I still want to start with this. Most years they're in the bottom five among the 30 major league clubs. This year, they are 26th, still in the bottom five. And think about what that actually means. This is spending, I just limited it here, to the AL East. The Rays' total payroll is about $67 million. The Yankees and Red Sox each spend more than $100 million more than the Rays. Even the Blue Jays spend double what the Rays spend. And yet, it's the Rays in first place again. We did numerous studies on the Rays last year, so I'll summarize for you. The Rays have a committed platoon system. They have a left-handed and right-handed hitting team. They have a left-handed and right-handed bullpen. They get the platoon advantage at the plate, fourth highest in the game right now, and they use all of their players. They have a deep bullpen and go to it often. This year, they are second in baseball in bullpen innings and fourth in baseball in bullpen ERA. They also feature players who play multiple positions, enabling them to cover injuries and matchup issues while keeping their best team on the field. So that's the quick review. It's all very baseball-y. I've likened the Rays of last year to the Miracle Mets of 1969. Gil Hodges, manager of the Mets that year, had strong pitching, was dedicated to his platoon teams at the plate. The Mets won 100 games that year and the World Series. But here's what gets me about the Rays. You would figure that all of that stuff I just described would result in some type of immense advantage that would show up somewhere. And it kind of doesn't. Take a look. Here are the ranks among the 15 American League clubs. Let's start with hitting. The Rays are seventh in hitting overall. So maybe they're a great contact team. Nope, they have the second highest strikeout rate in the league. So maybe they're a power hitting club, right? Nope, they're ninth in slugging in the league. They have great plate discipline then, right? No, not especially. They're sixth in O swing percentage. Great base running team? Nope, they're fifth in base running runs. So let's look at pitching. Now here they are quite good. They are third in park adjusted ERA, fifth in strikeout rate, and fourth in home run rate. So again, they're strong, but they're not the best in the league. They do use their bullpen a lot, and their bullpen ERA minus is fourth. Bullpen strikeout rate is 10th. Again, they're very good, but they are not super elite. So one last thing, how is their defense? Aha, the Rays are in fact number one in the American League in defensive runs saved. The Rays were at the vanguard of shifting and they continue to be at the forefront of defensive positioning. Their highest paid player is their center fielder, who doesn't hit much. He's a defensive specialist, Kevin Kiermeyer. So yes, the team with the best record in the league also has the best defense in the league. So again, what am I saying? They're seventh in hitting, third in pitching, number one in defense. Does that explain the Rays? I don't know. 